Join us as we give you a glimpse of the top 5 stories here and around the world. I'm Yvette Nessus, and this is 5 Things from the Week. Number 1. Kim K's Swift Revenge Cause baby now we got bad blood. Twitterverse had a blast when hashtag Kim Exposed Taylor Party trended this week as Kim Kardashian West released a series of snapshots containing the recording of the phone call between her beau and Taylor Swift to get her permission about that certain line before releasing Famous. Taylor's reps called on Kanye for spreading misogynistic message and denied she received a heads up about the line. Keeping up with their brand of reality TV, Kim K did not disappoint as she also relisted on the celebration of the World Snake Day. Shady? Meanwhile, Taylor replied back with this. Number 2. Cardboard Justice Begins Headlines today feature gruesome photos of dead bodies dumped all over the metropolis, either wrapped in packaging tape or with placards on their chests. The ongoing campaign of the current administration against illegal drugs is proving to be very bloody. A UP student also went viral for wearing a placard saying, Lahat tayo posibleng pusher in her commute. Number 3. SE clears former President Arroyo of plunder charges sets her free. Pampanga Representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo has every reason to smile now that the Supreme Court has decided to acquit her from plunder charges. The High Court has ordered the former president's immediate release from hospital arrest. Arroyo said in a statement that she lauded Duterte for upholding righteousness in the justice system. The SC voted 11-4 in favor of Arroyo. Number 4 Trump's wife plagiarized Michelle Obama? Oh no, she didn't! Apparently, the Republican convention Melania Trump delivered a message that had a striking similarities to Michelle Obama's speech in Denver in 2008. It appeared that Trump allegedly plagiarized some parts of the First Lady's speech. The only silver lining? Despite the plagiarism accusations, Donald Trump remains the official candidate of the Republican Party. Number 5. Lady Gaga and Taylor Kinney just taking a break. Take it easy, little monsters. Lady Gaga just posted on Instagram that they are both just taking a break. Both having jam-packed schedules, the couple decided to focus on their own pursuits. However, Mother Monster wished for her fans to keep rooting for them as she believes that they are soulmates. The couple was engaged February last year. Here's to praying and hoping it would still end with their I do's. Stay on track with the latest news and updates. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for current stories.